Hey everybody, Mark Johnson here, founder and creative director of Able Abe Studios, back again with another hashtag SSS Beta blog every day in April. And today, um, we are at the 29th day of April, about to close this thing, this thing out, you know, so you want to close it out proper. So question of the day is, um, how has my opinion of, you know, doing a YouTube channel or the vlogging thing change this time around doing VEDA or if it's your first time you know doing VEDA this time around and I would say you know I'm trying to make this as short a answer as possible not you know as short as possible because I, I see this being a long answer for myself but I think what I've learned this time around is that it takes a little bit more than just kind of um, you know plugging in your camera and shooting it and then uploading video um, to be real successful at uh, vlogging or you know being a, a successful YouTuber. I'm sure that's something that they tell you in the boot camps or you know whatever else they may have that you kind of got to really be kind of diligent with it. This is not something that you can just you know do off and on and expect to have real success. Whether it's getting subscribers, getting people viewing, or actually making money doing it, um, I think it's something that. Um, I realized that you got to have good content. It's great to have good content, but you know, putting posting it regularly, you know, kind of all the other social media stuff by posting it and sharing it and getting people to kind of post and share it themselves. Um, I think all that stuff will take care of itself. Um, I think you know, once you get to a point where you're posting really regularly and have content that people want to see, I think that's when you will start to see your success, you know, grow. Uh, one of the things that I've learned from Amy herself, um, um, from her channel, is to create an editorial calendar. Um, that's been very helpful for me. Um, I, these last three months, um, you know, well, more or less February, what, February, March, February, March, um, I have been using a calendar to kind of, you know, schedule out what my content's going to be, you know, writing the post or writing the, the content before I actually, you know, post it. And then or shoot it and you know, just kind of be mindful of what I'm trying to create with the channel. Um, that's been very, very helpful because it gives me an idea of where I'm at, you know, and especially it also gives me a little bit of confidence boost when I'm able to mark something off because I got it off on time and it's posted and, and it's getting, you know, it's going through the cycle. Um, you know, when I, the first, I, obviously, you know, you're, you may not know that the first time you go through and, and I don't know how my experience everyone else is out there but my first time doing VEDA I was very unexperienced it was just something that I wanted to to try to see if I can do um, I know after the 31 days or 30 days what well, was August so it was 31 days um, I was like I was talking like I was gonna start a channel and you know I posted a few more times after that VEDA but not much else uh, the second time I did VEDA uh, I you know did the same thing had the same kind of reaction you know I did 31 days really pumped figured I'm gonna just gonna continue from there and you know posted a few more times I think this after that second time and the kind of really letting it sit and become get to a point where it's like okay this is something I really want to do so started putting investing in time got the camera got the editing equipment really went forward with that the microphone and I got to a point where it's like yeah let's start doing this so that's kind of when the editorial calendar came in. I kind of did my research and kind of looked at other vloggers. And I think one of the major things I do when I find someone that I'm really interested in their channel is I kind of just see how long they've been doing it. And uh, usually I go back to the very first video. And sometimes it's like two, three years later. Or, you know, I have to go back because that's when they first started. And, you know, now they're finally getting success. So... It kind of gives me an idea that yeah, this is a long, a long process. You know, we gotta be patient. You know, and having that focus. You know, by having the editorial calendar. You know, planning your post out. You know, know when you're gonna shoot and be able to shoot and then edit and then post. Having that whole process lined out is was very is very helpful. Um, so I think those are the things I've learned. And I know it's been a process. It's not necessarily something I learned this very first time in VEDA. Um, like I said, I've done it three different times. And I think that's kind of what I've learned over the whole process. That just, it's, a, 
it's just, you know, you just got to be patient and be willing to, to be diligent and be persistent and consistent in what you're doing and in your efforts to get to a point where, yeah, two, three years down the line, you've built something that, you know, people are, you know, just getting to take notice of. And then you can really, um, you know, expand from there. I'm, I'm sure with Amy's channel and many other people's channel that, you know, after they got to a point where they started seeing some success, doors just started opening, you know, they can start collaborating with other people, you know, maybe taking trips to go places to work with other people. Um, and so that's kind of what I'm looking for. That's what I would like to be able to have um, through this channel and, um, you know, um, create uh, th with my YouTube account. So, yeah, that's a, a long winded answer towards the question. Hopefully I answered it um, to people's understandability. Um, but, yeah, we are closing in. You know, it's only a matter of days left. So uh, if you like this video, definitely subscribe. No, if you like this video, uh, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing with the channel, definitely subscribe. Um, you know, because like I, you know, I've said in the past, uh, I'd like to do more with the channel. But, you know, already looking at my calendar, I know I will have stuff up um, once April is over and we go into May. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss any of that. And uh, hope everyone's having a wonderful weekend. TGIF. And like we always do at this time, have a blessed day. See you on the flip side. Let's go.